So here today we are in my website, Foodie Fans or Foodie Fans, where I talk about food, travel and more. I'll put a link in the description below to my website. So you also have your own website or site or blog on WordPress and you also want to put advertisements in your blog or website like me here in the sidebar on the home page or in the post below the title and between the contents here and before the footer here. So now how are we going to put this Google AdSense ads in our WordPress site? So subscribe and like this video to stay tuned for more. And now I'll continue on with this video. So go to Google Site Kit in your WordPress dashboard. If you're unfamiliar about how to install this Google plugin in WordPress, I'll put a link above and in the description below about previous video I did on how to install Google Site Kit tutorial. So now in Google Site Kit, below click connect to AdSense, then connect your Google account, give Google Site Kit permission to your Google and Google AdSense, then Google Site Kit will connect with your Google AdSense account. So it shows here that I've already been using Google AdSense. So I'll go ahead and click continue. And I'm going to add the site to AdSense, this iProperty Guru Fan site to my Google AdSense. So a new tab will be open to my Google AdSense account. And here I will add my website. Click save and continue. And click request review. So it may take up to two weeks for Google AdSense to review your site. And for my this site here, in this case, iPropertyGuruFan.com. And this website has already been approved by Google. So you receive an email from Google saying that the website has been approved and is ready. So you can connect a few websites to one AdSense account. So as we see here, I have three websites. Foodie Fan is about travel and food. And iProperty Fan and iProperty Guru Fan is about property and investment in Malaysia. Okay, let's continue to add an overview on the left here. And then we're going to go down to iPropertyGuruFan.com and we notice the auto ads is off. So we're going to edit it and turn it on. So auto ads is turned off, we're going to turn it on. And then auto ads, there are three types of ads. That's in-page ads, anchor ads and Vignet ads. So personally, I don't like in-page ads and Vignet ads. So what are in-page ads? There are ads that appear within the main body of content on your pages. So Google will automatically place the ads in your contents, in your posts, and in your blog, in your website. Which means you have less control over where the advertisements are placed in your site. Instead, you can manually place them, which we will cover later. Then Vignet ads are full screen ads that appear between page loads. Which can be disruptive to viewer experience and turn them away from the site. And then we see here in the middle is an example of anchor ads at the bottom of the page. And then now we can exclude the pages from the auto ads. So we're going to add the following pages, contact us and about us pages to be excluded from the auto ads. And then click apply to site. So the auto ads may take about 20 to 30 minutes or maybe up to 1 to 2 days for it to appear in your WordPress site. So we're going to learn how to put the ads manually in our website by going to buy ads unit at the top here. So the ad units we have here are display ads, in feed ads, in article ads and multiplex ads. So we see here below some examples of ad units that I've created. We have here like in feed ad, display ads, in article ads and so forth for the different websites that we have here like iProperty Fund, Foodie Funds and iProperty Guru Fund. So now we're going to create a new ad unit for this tutorial. So we're going to create the display ads. So display ads are basically simple picture advertisements that are in the form of square, horizontal and vertical. And you can change the ad size from responsive, which means that responsive ads on your site will adapt to your specific page layout. Or you can manually fix the ad size where you can put in the width and the height. But do note that limiting the fixed ad size may limit the number of ads available and can result in lower earnings. And then once you are done, you can name your ads and then click create. 
and then next here is infeed ad so infeed ad you can let google suggest a style to follow the mobile or desktop style through your url so for example i'll put in the website here fully fans and then we'll scan the page so google will scan the page to try to match the advertisement with your page style and layout so you see here google has given some suggestions so you can see the mobile and the desktop style so you can click rescan and then you can choose which style in your page to follow if you don't want google to suggest a style you can create the ad style manually here you can choose image above image on the side title above or text only so for example let's say we have image on the side here so you can resize here to see how the advertisement will flow with the size of the desktop or the mobile then we have in article ads so in article ads here they match the site and work well with articles and content pages and in article ads are ideally better placed between the contents in your post so you can also resize the width to see how your advertisement will look like depending on the pixel size and then here we have multiplex ads yeah, grid -based ad unit that shows content recommendation style native ads so grid bait ads means that there are multiple ads together in one advertisement so you have horizontal and then you have vertical example or grid based advertisement so you can choose the ad size to be responsive or fixed do note that fixed ad size may affect your adsense revenue and response as well so in my next tutorial video i'll be showing how to add these ad units in your wordpress posts and contents so don't forget to subscribe and like this video to stay tuned for that next video and future videos